Hello, Alex's EDC Army, and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such, with the Such stands for EDC Gear. Today, we have a knife versus. All these knife verses are pre recorded. So, you see this on the 26th. But we have the CGRB My More My Leah, the Rosecraft Blades exclusive. And uh, SMKW exclusive, S Kershaw, I forgot the name right now, um, name eludes me, but it's um, late, um, SMKW exclusive because of the scales. This is SMKW, this is Rosecraft, Rosecraft Blades exclusive because of the scales color, it's being copper. A copper static. This is the static, by the way. Kershaw static. And this has been in my collection for over a year. And it still works great. Little blade plate that I can fix. That is relatively a good knife. Pocket clip is left or right, tip up, deep carry, all the way to here. You'd have this much out of your pocket. This is the Rosecraft Blades exclusive More My Leah that my mom got me for Christmas. Oh, I can see, but let me turn on one of my flash, flashlights. Let me go grab one. That's around here. The, oh, I have it in my pocket. The red and snowflakes i3 TEOS with the upgraded lens. You know, on the low setting. And you should pick one up with these new upgraded lens. They're great. And the original. Centering is great. Front flipper is awesome. I love the more my Leah. It's a perfect super duper knife. That's how you would hold it. You would go like this. Great blade shape. R. AR RPM9 powdered steel, which is budget steel. And just great. This is the lanyard slot. No official review yet for the my, more my Leah because I just got it today on Christmas. I got it on the 25th for Christmas. Happy Boxing Day to all you Canadians, if you celebrate it. Between videos, I will be putting KPL in this, and I'll show it um, what KPL it is. Ultra, ultra light or original. Gotta pick up some more KPLs so I have it readily available. Cause I love that stuff now after Blade HQ got me hooked on it. I'm not Blade HQ. Birdshot IV got me hooked on it. Great channel. Check them out. I hope to buy from their Etsy page again soon. Hopefully they have something nice and budgety. I paid $40 for the Reich P1-138-B. Nice little knife. Nice little flippity flippity. You put them together. About the same size, so they can't go wrong. We have the other knife that will be in their knife versus. If I can open this correctly, the pair of three, which I really want one now. 
I am looking to, to actually, this time for reals, buy a knife that's over $90. Let's see if I can actually accomplish that. But I will be giving Satisfaction some money, and then he will go ahead and buy me a knife with some with no blade length less than two inches. So two inches or above. And see what he gets me. And they'll make a video. It'll be a good thing to do monthly with YouTubers. Once a month or twice a month. Get some YouTubers to a set amount of money. And see what they buy me. Start a new series on my channel. And a whole playlist on that. But anyways. This is about the same size too. With the pair of three. About the same size. And with the um... Kershaw's Copper Static. Mm. Kershaw Smaller. This knife will definitely have a Versus because it's a budget knife along the lines, you know. Bigger though. This is the Adamanti Nefer. Adamanti Nef format. A Ganzo knife. Some subsidiary. It's one of my favorites, but I haven't carried it much. I need to again. Against the Kershaw. We got two more knives. Way bigger. Way bigger. This Centros C E R C G R B C V V Centros no C G R B I almost I always think C V V sometimes Kaiser Hiccup way bigger these are all be coming up in knife versus because they're really good knives against each other but as you see here you're like what what do we got here this is ah. Uh, I have no idea because I got it on, on a knife, National Knife Day 2021 sale. But I would probably say $38 to $45. I could be wrong, so just check out SMKW Kershaw Static with the copper scales if they even have that available, which I don't know because it was an exclusive. Some exclusives are limited, some are just always available or most of the time to one certain website. How a holding this feel? Really good. An eight to an eight and a half out of ten. Squeezing down, you do feel the pie clip, but not much. So probably a nine even. Eight and a half to a nine out of ten. How does this feel? You feel this part like right here. But it's okay. I give it a nine all day in handling. Dual thumb studs, front flipper. Great knife overall. How deep is this one? Deep all the way to the end. I'm going to see the little nub of the pocket clip on top and they won't see much else. How is grip on this? I learned this from Big Red to do this. That's really good. Grip on this. Nothing really too bad, too good, but it's not bad either because I can still have it in hand. What I, what I think is better. More hefty, of course. How do they look closed? What can I really say? This is a nine to nine and a half, nine to nine to ten. Well, no, nine and a half to ten. Uh, nine and a half, bleh, bleh. nine and a half or ten out of ten. Sometimes you feel this, but that's about it. This. Relatively new to me, so I would say nine to ten because this thing is huge, is a big, big thickness, and it hits right here. See, 
because you really can't squeeze down like you can on here. You have more squish on your hand to that. So if that's something new, then yeah. Nine to nine and a half out of ten. Or would I say go get Rosecraft Blade exclusive? More my Leah. Kershaw um SMKW exclusive. Kershaw static. Copper scales. More lighter. Uh I don't want to bash the more Mylea because I love the original Mylea and I love the more Mylea. I've always wanted one. But my thing is, my mom got that on a, on a Black Friday sale. But my thing is, I would definitely go for this um, Kershaw Copper Static. It's in D2, in house design, but it just feels lighter and more better in hand. Though this is not a bad knife. If you're not squishing down on it, you, it feels pretty nice, really nice, so... Close second, close second to this copper static. Either way you go, you're not spending um not even fifty dollars on these knives if you find this on sale. I don't know what it is without sale, maybe forties, forty dollar range. Forty to forty five. I don't know, but it's great. I could flip this all day. I don't even not wanting to put um KPL in this. So I might leave it for a little for a lot of long time without KPL. See if it starts getting any different. Oh, look. Already. And I didn't even have it for a full day. This knife is a winner. Swags has a nice signature on her blades. And she's really a good person. And it's a really great knife. I love it. And I love this knife too. So both get two, two, two thumbs up. Go out and pick up either one. If you can find the Kershaw Copper Static, that is, on SMKW. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Rosecraft Blades. More Mylea. Let me know what you think of these knives in the comment section below. And if you got them, let me know how they work for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Even dislike. Have a great day. Enjoy your rest of the year. Look out for the guy or girl to your right. Look out for the guy or girl to your left. Choose love, not hate. Hashtag be up. Hashtag DSKFS. And as always, just have fun and remember to use your sharp blades. Bye.